guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley and I am the mompreneur here behind A Crafty Concept. In today's video, I wanted to give you guys a little tour of a new resource I just created for how to sell your crochet products on Etsy in July, in the month of July. Um, so I am an Etsy affiliate, meaning I can link to things on Etsy like products for sale on Etsy, somebody else's products, and then I get paid a commission if somebody buys that product through my link. So I'm an Etsy seller, but I'm also an Etsy affiliate, and we get monthly emails telling us what is trendy on Etsy or what is expected to be trendy on Etsy based on research and all that good stuff from the Etsy affiliate team. So affiliates know what to promote on their platforms, but I'm taking this information to give it to Etsy shop owners so you guys know what to promote in your shops. Um, and also it's a good thing too, because this is what the affiliates are being encouraged to promote. So if you promote these things, you might get an, an Etsy affiliate to link to your shop coincidentally because that's what happened to me in 2017. Um, so I made this resource. I took the information that they gave me and turned it into a resource for crocheters. They gave me permission to do this. I'm not breaking any rules. Um, but if you want to check it out with me, just watch this video. I'm going to go through all of the categories, the key tags, and a few crochet um, patterns that I think would be awesome for those different categories. If you want this resource, there will be a sign up link at the bottom in the description of this video for you to sign up to my email list and this resource will be sent to you automatically. Um, and again, it is for July 2020, but I'm assuming it would be the same similar content for most Julys, um, at least for a couple years. So let's head over to my screen and see what I'm even talking about. Okie dokie artichoke, here is the July Trends on Etsy 2020 resource that I created with the information given to me from the Etsy affiliate marketing team. So they gave me these three columns right here and then I added this one down here so it could be applicable to your crochet business. So we'll start with each key category and then go down the column from there. So the first one is seasonal refresh. And key themes in this category is home decor, clothing and accessories, everyday essentials, and masks, since we are still in the middle of COVID-19 situation. The key terms are, this is mailboxers, but I'm pretty sure that's supposed to say mailboxes, and I put a typo in there, so let's pretend that says mailboxes. Planters, bird feeders, wind chimes, fire pits, face masks, face mask filter, mask, face mask washable, and cleaning supplies or clean supplies. Um, so those are some key terms that Etsy affiliate marketing is expecting to do well on Etsy in July. And then I have some crochet ideas down here in the last little section to help you guys brainstorm some ways that you can take these key terms, themes, and categories and apply them to your crochet business. So the Crafty Cactus Pillow would be really good for this month. It would go under planters and home decor, kind of. Planters is planty and cactuses are plants. So that's where I got that from. Crafty Boho Pillow would fall under home decor. Crafty Pineapple Pillow would be home decor and planty. And the Crafty Watermelon Pillow, the Crafty Lemon Pillow. These are all the pillows that are offered on my blog. If you go to a crafty concept forward slash free patterns, you will see all of them. The watermelon is currently a paid only pattern, but spoiler alert, it is coming to the blog very, very soon as a free pattern. So by the time you're watching this, it might actually be a free pattern already. Also, I said faux plants would probably do really well or planter baskets. Hanging planters would do well. I didn't put this on there, but under clothing and accessories, you could probably market your crafty boho earrings, crafty loop earrings, and crafty rainbow earrings. Um, those, were, those are really cute accessories. Everyday essentials might fall under crafty facial rounds or reusable washcloths. Those are just my ideas that I had for seasonal refresh. If you have any more ideas that come to your mind when you're listening to this video, please leave them in the comments and let's help each other out down there. Feel free to post links to some of your favorite patterns or something like that as well. We can get this inspiration party started. The next key category is home inspiration. Key themes are home improvement, DIY, crafts, 
and supplies, organization and storage, work from home accessories. Key terms are drawer knobs and pools, wallpaper, reclaimed wood, planks, light fixtures, and storage. So the main crochet idea that I got for this key category was hanging baskets, nesting baskets, pin holding baskets, or maybe some crocheted desk chair cushions would be really cute. Um, I kind of honed in on the organization and storage aspect of this key category so that's where all of the baskets came from you could have desk organizing baskets like you can you can promote crochet baskets for all kinds of different things so if you sell crochet baskets how can you apply them to home improvement how can you apply them to diy or craft supplies maybe you have a set of three that hold your markers pens and color pencils maybe you have a set of different heights for desk supplies maybe there's a tiny one for paper clips and a tall one for pencils and a short fat one for your plant i don't know um, but however you or if you sell crochet baskets look at these key themes and see how can you organize your listings to optimize them based on these key themes. You could use key terms like storage or organization or um, home accessories, craft supplies, because if you're marketing your baskets as three baskets that can hold your craft supplies, you can use the tag craft supplies to market them. So that is just one example and a few crochet ideas for how to optimize your listings for this home inspiration key category. Our next key category is outdoor activities. Key themes are backyard games, outdoor decor, gardening, lawn games, lawn decor. Key terms are mailbox, planter, mailbox decal, memorial wind chimes, hanging planter, plant and herb markers, indoor herb kit, gardening gift. So the crochet ideas that came to my mind when I read about these key terms and themes was reusable water balloons made out of the Bernat blanket decor, planter baskets, plant hangers. I was also thinking you could market like farmer's market totes and advertise them as something to use when you are picking your vegetables in your own garden or keeping your garden tools in them because they have holes so the dirt would fall through or they're easily, you can just throw them in the wash with your towels, something like that. So you could um, definitely market market bags in this category. Also, memorial wind chimes. You could probably pop up some crafty boho wall hangers. I have a free pattern for the watermelon version, which is easily modified for an American or USA themed, which would make me think Memorial Day. So maybe memorial wreath or memorial door hanger would look, would do well since memorial wind chimes is doing well and you would still have the key tag memorial in them. So if you have any watermelon or red, white, and blue crafty boho wall hangers in your shop, try adding memorial door hanger or memorial wreath to your tags and see if you get any hits that way. Also, you could market your market bags as a good gift for gardeners. So maybe you display a little, a little gardening shovel and a little gardening, whatever those scrapey things are called, and then your tote bag and say, this would make a great addition to any gardener gift set or something like that if you think you get a lot of gift buyers in your Etsy shop. Uh, speaking of gift buyers, that is the next key category, gifting. Key themes are thinking of you cards, birthday, baby and bridal shower, wedding gifts, pet gifts, greeting cards, key terms. So the key terms are gonna be some tags you're gonna wanna use if, if you sell anything that falls under these key terms. I, I don't think I said that yet. But lawn games, backyard games, lawn dice, dog tags, dog collars, cat homes, dog beds, pet toys, best friend gifts, thinking of you gifts, just because gifts. The crochet ideas that I had for this, they're actually kind of overwhelming my head right now because every time I read the word gift, I get an idea of 20 different crochet things that would make a great gift. But we'll start with what I already have on this resource. We have reusable water balloons, again, falling under the backyard games category. Dog bandanas would be really cute. Crafty loop earrings make a great gift. Crafty facial rounds make a great gift. 
All kinds of baby makes would be good for baby shower gifts, so bibs, rattles, or baby nursery room decor. The Crafty Rainbow Rattle is a free pattern on my blog. Crafty Pumpkin Rattle is a free pattern on my blog. The Bitty Boho Bib is a paid pattern in my Etsy shop. And the Crafty Boho Wall Hanger, the one with the flowers on it, would make beautiful nursery decor in nursery trendy colors. I also have a free tutorial for a dog toy on my blog and YouTube channel where you use t-shirt yarn to make a dog toy so those might sell well this month. Also pet toys, pet beds, best friend gifts, there's all kinds of crochet things that you could market in that way. So look at your shop and see what you have that you could add the tag just because gifts to and maybe get a few hits this month or next month in July depending on when you are watching this video. And our last key category is self-care. Key themes are bath and beauty, personal care, skincare, candles, fitness items, and relaxation items, key terms or tags that you would want to use in your listings, bath caddy, nail art, natural beauty, incense holders, candles, bath bombs, bath salts, essential oils, natural beauty. So some crochet ideas that I had were of course the crafty facial rounds. Those are the first things that came to my mind. You could easily have natural beauty, a tag on crafty facial rounds or personal care and skin care. These are all tags that you could use in your crafty facial round listings to try to get a few hits in your Etsy shop this month. Candle holder baskets. Baskets are really trendy in July in my opinion. They would be a really easy thing to market to all in almost all of these categories. Candle coasters, and I put a question mark next to that because I'm not sure if those exist, but I think you could take a really cute mug rug or boho style coaster and market it to be like a candle coaster to set your candle on and like add decor to your room or candle. Essential oil diffuser, I know a lot of people take um, crochet amigurumi and add a leather tag on the back or the front where kids can roll on their favorite essential oils and then have like an essential oil diffuser stuffed animal kind of situation. The Ava Bunny would be really cute for that or the Mia Moo Moo or even the Troll if you want to get some nostalgic toys in your shop. And then you could get some leather tags and attach to the back of them and market them as essential oil diffusers and let kids roll on different oils. And the last thing I had, again, was the crafty facial rounds, just under the natural beauty, self-care situation, like a treat yourself idea. So see how the crafty facial rounds could be marketed in multiple ways in July. You could market them as a self-care treat yourself here in the self-care category. You could market them as a thinking of you gift in the gifting category. You could market them as accessories in the seasonal refresh category. So list your crafty facial rounds multiple times times throughout your Etsy shop, changing up the color for each listing, and then play around with all these different key tags and see if you get any hits. I hope you guys found this video helpful. I love thinking of ways to market my things based on what's trendy and like letting my brain kind of make the trends work for me and the types of items that I sell in my shop. So if you guys want to jump in the comments and brainstorm with me or give me some pattern ideas that you think would fall great under these categories, I've put some links down below for some of the things that I mentioned throughout the video and some of the things that I didn't mention, like a few basket patterns that I really like or think are super pretty. I listed a few hanging planter baskets as well. So take a look at all of those links down there. I tried to link mostly free patterns, but there are a few paid as well. And I made sure to notate which ones are paid so you don't get your hopes up and think it's a free pattern. Be sure to subscribe and like this video if you like crochet business tips. I very much enjoy putting them out for you guys. So if you like them, let me know. Also stay tuned because we've got some more things coming out in July. I have pre-organized my entire month. I'm gonna be popping out YouTube videos at least once a week. So go ahead and subscribe if this sounds like content you would be interested in. P.S. These are the rainbow earrings that I mentioned in the first category. Um, these are a free pattern on my blog and I will link them for you guys in the description below. I hope you all are having a fabulous week and I will see you in the next video.